the horse trailer as a barn. Not the ideal situation, not the, uh, not the ideal setup that we want to be doing, but... A couple of things that are absolute must when doing this. Every year we have to replace the, uh, the tarp. Got the tires off the ground. We try to move this thing at least once a year, if not twice. But, gotta do something about the tires. Now, cinching the uh, tarp down, that's no easy task. Some bailing wire, and you just gotta get it where you can. Yeah, you just kinda tie those things off wherever you can. Um, the holes don't necessarily work for here, so you just kind of wrap it up and twist it around. I've gotten real good at my twisting on bailing wire. That's the only way to tighten it up. Over here we can still use this area for tack. This is why we have the planks here. This really gets flooded down here after a couple of rains. This is actually not too bad. It gets a lot worse than this. But this is where the trailer needs to be. What a nice little thing. It's almost a must at this point. I couldn't live without it. Uh, having this uh, twine on here to kind of catch the door. Just kind of take a little bit of the tension there. So the roof doesn't leak or anything like that, but as you can see, it's open in here. So that's why the tarp is a, a must. Otherwise it would just be soaking wet in here. Not the ideal situation, kind of hillbilly, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Use your resources, that's what it all comes down to. Trusty light there. Well, it works. So we can fit four bales in here comfortably. And four or five bags of pellets and then there's still enough room to kind of keep our garbage out of the weather and a bale or two of straw we can keep in here as well so plenty of room to keep what we need it's just uh it's not a barn it's a trailer when we do get a feed run keep the door open here and tie the door off that's the skinny on using a horse trailer for a barn